Hello everyone, this is iOS Genius on the YouTube channel. Um, in case you need to find out how to find me on YouTube, just visit up youtube.com. Uh, then on the search field, just type in Apple iOS Genius. And then if you select on the Buy iOS Genius here, uh, you can go ahead and select that. And this will show you my current videos that I've recently uploaded, as well as other previous videos that I've been uploading for how to and procedures make bootables uh, using the reflector app and so forth. So basically what we're going to do today is basically we're going to go through the process of using Apple Configurator and having it work with uh, creating profiles so for your Apple and mobile devices so that no one can figure out what your password is. Or this is also being used for school institutionals which you don't uh, since there are intelligent people out there that can go ahead and check your keychain access to re to record or pick up the, uh, the passwords and so forth uh, through the encryption. If you do not know what keychain access is, feel free to look at one of my other videos and how to access keychain and any previous or used current passwords that are saved locally on your computer or any computer that is related to Mac that uh, does save the passwords and if you have admin rights you can be able to access it. Uh, I've recently uploaded a video here which is called Profile Hidden SSID Password. If you go ahead and look at that video profile, that will basically show you how you can hide your uh, SSID uh, and your password so th during the process of creating an uh, Apple Configurator profile. So we're just going to go ahead and get started. We're going to open here down to the bottom. I'm running Mavericks 1092. This is the Apple Configurator. As you can see on the right hand side here under profiles, I've already created a few profiles. But we're going to go ahead and create a new one from scratch and uh, just so we can step through the process. So you want to go ahead, uh, once you go in, hit Apple Devices, Supervise, and then under Settings, you want to just go ahead and select plus sign. And you, you can either import if you have one from other computers uh, and then do it on yours or you can create a new profile. So we're going to go ahead and create a new profile. Once you create a new profile, the gen general mandatory, this is basically the title name, the same thing as you saw the profiles on the right side, or these profiles. So we're basically just going to call this one, um, e what are we going to call this? Uh, I don't know. I'll just call it, call it I, oops, can it spell? iOS Genius. Okay, organization, this is an organization out for your company. So, uh, this should be used only for iOS Genius Site 2 since we have multiple different sites in Chicago. Uh, brief description of the contents of why this profile is being created or being used. Uh, this is uh, this profile will be installed to allow connectivity to the internet and network resources. Oops, if I spell that properly. of iOS Genius Site 2 and actually the website that I have as well is also called iOSGenius.com alright so that's the description now I wanna you can go ahead and copy this and my contact message when you're actually installing this this message will pop up in duration of the install process so the message that will be displayed during profile installation. So you can just basically put this in here. This brief description is before you actually start the install. Uh, this is during the process of the install. So this profile will be installed to allow connectivity, internet, and network resources of iOS Genius Site, site 2. Um, if this profile is removed all internet and 
network access will be removed or denied, however you want to call it, for site two of irsgenius.com or irsgenius. Okay, so uh, next field here in security controls when the profile can be removed. You can say always. If you leave it as always, that means anybody can remove it, even though someone who's in parental controls or someone who's in admin or, or someone under manage, uh, uh, manage profiles. Uh, you can do authorization. Basically means you can put in a password. So I'll just type in password, make it simple. Or you can actually say never. And basically if they go to the profile section, to try to uh, remove it, which I will go to my system preferences since I have profiles already on this computer. Uh, I hit profiles. Here's one of the profiles I was using for actually my school. And um, as I hit delete, it'll ask you, are you sure you want to remove the profile? If I selected the option never and I hit minus to remove it, uh, it would not give me this option. Uh, it wouldn't even pop up this window because you can't delete it. If you select the option that you want to do uh, with authorization, you'll be prompted with a similar window like this, except it'll say uh, removing this configuration will change settings on your computer. Please enter uh, the requested password or the required password, and then you select remove. And then if the password is correct, it would actually just go ahead and remove it. Uh, so it's not on your computer. Now you're not connected to those network resources when you're in that building or that location. So we're going to go ahead and cancel this, close this, because I use that for school. Uh, we're going to leave it as password just so you can see. Um, so we're just going to call this password as this is just a test. Now here it says basically all automatically remove the profile settings for automatic profile removal. You can actually set a date or so forth. So like say if someone's going to leave the company in a certain date or time frame or if your friends are around for a certain vacation time frame and you're going to say okay at the end of the week you want to select the date on a specific date, that beginning date. So if it's 12.01 a.m. at, what is this, uh, July 22nd of 2014, uh, the Apple configurator, the profile, uh, would actually just disable and remove itself automatically. So we're not gonna actually do that, or you can do it after an interval, uh, if there's so many days or so forth, you wanna provide them to have access. So this is also good if you wanna create like a guest account and say, okay, we're gonna go ahead and run this profile on your computer, but in seven days, you say you're going to be here for, we're going to do it for eight. And then on the eighth day, either at their house or wherever they're at, it would actually automatically remove uh, from their Mac computer uh, or even their iOS device. So we're going to go ahead and select uh, never for right now. Uh, so now while after the general, you want to go ahead and select on Wi-Fi config. Uh, this is the configuration. So you want to hit continue. Here's the service uh, set identifier, which is your SSID. Uh, we're just going to make this SSID called, um, what is that? When we called it, we called it uh, iOS Genius Site 2, or you can just say iOS Genius Wi Fi, or so forth. Is it considered a hidden network? If it's not a hidden network, uh, if, you would, if it's a hidden network, you would not see it here. If it was a hidden network, uh, a not hidden network, you actually see it here, which we see all these are not hidden. Um, so basically you wanna hit, make sure you select an auto join. So whenever you're in that specific area or that range of Wi-Fi, uh, yeah, auto join to that um, SSID so you can gain internet. Proxy setup, uh, we normally don't use this even for personal. Uh, you may wanna use this uh, for in a business or so forth because uh, you only want them to have certain access to the network. You can do that. Uh, security type, well, this is basically your encryption password if you know what your password is. So we're gonna go ahead and put uh, WPA PA2, you can put WEP2 as well, or you can do any personal. Uh, if you're doing an enterprise as well, you can, and if it's set up on your controllers or wireless controllers or anything else like that, then you will to use that. But we're gonna go ahead and use the WPA and WPA. Uh, there is a password, so we're just going to do this as a password. We're going to say uh, uh, Apple um, Seed. Okay, so you're going to be able to uh, 
with Apple C, you basically don't see the password, so you need to make sure that you actually typed it right if you have caps, letters, or numeric characters. Uh, in regards to network type, you basically want to just leave it as a standard unless there's a specific reason or need that you need it for a legacy hotspot or a passpoint. Um, so now we've already created a profile which is called iOS Genius. And we'll just call this site two, just so we know what's what. Uh, then you would go to your Wi-Fi and you want to make sure you go through your configurations of there, what, what your Wi-Fi password is. So um, we're going to ignore any of this other stuff. Basically, what you can actually also do on your iOS devices, you can use a Wi-Fi feature. You can use, there is a, uh, where is it? There is a VPN option too. You can create this, so if in case you need VPN on your cell phone, uh, that would work as well. Oh, but also, if you want to set up VPN for your laptop, Mac laptop, and or iMac, uh, in regards to the VPN, it will actually, uh, it will configure it for you, so you don't need to know what the password is. You don't need to know if any, it's an IPsec Cisco or firewall or so forth. This is basically all gray hidden for IT, so that the uh, normal user would not use, need to use it. Ah, oh, look what I did. I just hit cancel. Oh. So basically, my whole video just went to sham because I did just quit this. So we're just going to do this quit here. Uh, this is doing install. We're just gonna call it. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Actually, I probably still have it in my paste. Yeah, I do. So copy paste. Wi-Fi. We're gonna configure. We're gonna say this is iOS Genius, and we're gonna say security type weep. Uh, then put in the password is password. Uh, this is basically an SSID that I do not use at this site, so you won't be able to see if this uh, works, but this is basically the process of creating a uh, profile. So once you use Wi-Fi, you can use VPN if you wanted to, or if you want to set up AirPlay or configure where it's not working on that specific computer or mobile device. Um, in regards of Exchange, uh, that's not going to work. Oh, it's only mainly going to work for Mac computers. Um, there's a bunch of other features and functionality you can use here if you wanted to. Like if you want to do web clips, this is really cool. I used this before. You can actually configure and say whatever the website is. We'll just say ESPN.com. And then if you put in the URL, which is ESPN.com, uh, it would actually, you can actually choose uh, a picture logo if you wanted to, if you found one on the website or so forth and you have a specific icon on your mobile device, that icon would appear and you'll just click it on your mobile device and it takes you directly to this website. So it's actually pretty cool. Um, but we're not gonna do that. I don't wanna hit cancel because I think cancel is gonna kick me out of this all together. Um, okay, so let's see, let's just save this. Okay, so then now here we have the new profile called iOS Genius. Uh, if you wanted to re-edit the, the profile, just go ahead and perform a double left click. It pulls up all the information all over again. So let's just hit cancel uh, since it's already saved. And then if you want to export the profile, you would just go right here with the little arrow, with the little square with the arrow pointing out. Once you hit that, uh, then you can export it to any specific location or designation you wanted to. So we're just going to hit save to the desktop pulls it up, it's right here, as you can see me moving it. I'm gonna move it over here, iOS Genius. And uh, that's pretty much it, how to create an Apple configurator profile for your mobile or iOS devices and so forth. Uh, check my next video in regards of how to uh, install the profile and what happens to that mobile device. So feel free to subscribe to iOS Genius on the YouTube channel. We greatly appreciate it. Feel free to put in your comments or suggestions down to the bottom. If you do have any additional questions of the Apple configurator or profile creation. Thanks. Have a good day.